And I want to begin by just talking about the events that will lead into the millennium. The events that lead into the millennium. And something you need to know about the millennium is that it's basically bookended by similar events. When you lead into the millennium, you've got a great battle and you also have a judgment that takes place. At the end of the millennium, of the, millennium the millennium ends with again another great battle and a judgment. So let's look at those things as we look at the... <laughs> All right, so uh, what I think this guy's uh, Roger Jimenez, I'm not really sure. Um, doesn't matter. Uh, just think about what he's teaching. He's saying that there's going to be a great battle and a, then a judgment and then a thousand years and a great battle and a judgment. All right, so if he could just connect the dots, he would see it. It's incredible, but you know there are 99% of these guys that are preaching stuff that they don't have any idea what they're talking about. They're not getting this from the Bible. They're getting it from other teachers, other false teachers, and this should be pretty obvious here because uh, they're, the idea is n nonsensical. Uh, you're going to have an end of the world, and then you're going to have another end of the world. It's like uh, I heard somebody say that uh, Jesus is going to come in the clouds of heaven over 20 times. And their logic for it, or their reasoning for it, no logic, the reasoning for it was because every time it talks about Jesus coming in the clouds of heaven, it's a different time except for those times that it's worded exactly all right so this that the whole idea is ridiculous all you have to do is connect the dots okay now remember jesus is asked specifically what is the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world and when is the end of the world when he comes in the clouds of heaven right in the moon uh, the sun shall be dark and the moon shall not give her light uh, the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. This is the end of the world. And at the end of the world, we are gathered together. The prophecy that goes all the way back to Genesis 3, verse 15. All right, so we are gathered together. We are lifted up in the air to meet the Lord. And our enemy is gathered at our feet. All right, Psalm 110, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. All right, and so also in Revelation 20, when fire comes down from God out of heaven and devours them all, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. And again, also in Genesis 3, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel all right till i make thine enemies thy footstool now this is the end of the world all right now let's go with the logic of or the you know whatever the theory of two ends of the world all right, you got a great battle and you've got judgment all right so what is the judgment <laughs> i mean come on what is the judgment well those of us that are born of the Spirit of God, we are kings and priests unto God. We are a royal priesthood. Judgment has already been made upon us. We are judged righteous and holy because He, Jesus, is righteous and holy. All right, so the second death has no power over us. The judgment on the final day at the end of the world is for those that are not saved and the judgment is eternal death alright so if all the unsaved are destroyed at the judgment of God at the last day then how can you say there's a another war that is coming 
in, in another end of the world, in another judgment. Who would, what, what do you, the, all you got left is saved people. What, God going to make war against his own people? It, it does not make any sense, man. I mean, is this not crystal clear? Um, you know, and again, I, I'll finish with this, man. You look at it. Nowhere in Revelation 20, nowhere in the Bible at all, does it say Jesus reigns a thousand years. It's not in the Bible anywhere. Jesus does not reign a thousand years. He reigns forever.